<laughs> Hello everyone and good afternoon. Today me and my partner Anita will be explaining about the use of plant parts. So some plants often used by men are the tree trunks, the stems, leaves and seeds as biofilm. We use uh, tree trunks for many purposes. We, we, for example, paper and cons constructions trees are cut down so that uh, so that their trunks can be used as material to build houses and the fiber found in the tree trunks is also used to make paper steams leaves and seeds as biofuel sugar can steams and wheat uh, wheat seeds as biofuel have been used as biofuel instead of coal or petrol. Biofuel can be used as alternative source of energy for vehicles or other machines. Uh, harmful effects on the environment. The, the used plant parts has a number of harmful effects on the environment. Some of them are global warming, loss of habitat, pollution, and soil erosion. Now, I'll ask Alna to explain the others. So, uh, my, as, my, as my partner said, global warming was the f well, first one. If more than one plants are killed for their body parts, less plant will be uh, left to take in ox uh, carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. So, uh, over time, the increased uh, carbon dioxide will speed up global warming. The next one. What uh, loss of habitat. Uh, loss of habitat re re refers to reducing the amount of space well, in what in where a particular species or group of species can survive and reproduce. Uh, trees and forests are home to many animals and a source of food to many animals. They might uh, die or suffer when they lose their habitat. Uh, pollution. Uh, as more beautiful plants have grown, more people will use more biofuels, so uh, grown pe pesticles and fertilizer will be used. Uh, pe pesticles and fertilizers pollute the earth by the soil and nearby water bodies when the rain washes these chemicals away. Uh, soil erosion. Trees hold the soil with their roots. Heavy rain, uh, heavy rain, uh, wash the loose soil away in the river. In addition, mud soil will, will occur if soil is not held together, which can damage human communities living nearby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. We're just doing pizza again. Okay, whose turn is this? Okay. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. Today, me and my partner, Tamana will uh, tell you about the man effects on the environment. How do our activities affect in the environment? Uh, for, apart from using parts of animals and plants, the other activities man also harm the environment. Uh, and uh, some of these uh, harmful parts are uh, deforestation, uh, littering, releasing a human and in a industrial waste into the water bodies, uh, burning fossil fuels and releasing CFC into the atmosphere. And now my partner will tell you. Deforestation, uh, forests. Okay. The uh, forests are often removed to make space, uh, space for buildings or f large routes to link cities when a large area of forest uh, forest is cut uh, down uh, down a bur uh, burnt it is known uh, as a deforestation this is harmful to the environment it has uh, two part uh, loss of living things soil erosion uh, uh, loss of living things, uh, deforestation, kills trees and causes other living things to lose their shelter and food. Uh, without food and shelter, these living things will die and may be, may be cause extinct. Soil uh, erosion, deforestation also leads to soil erosion and pollution of nearby water bodies, the leads uh, uh, 
to the that of living things in the water. Okay, now they will come. Lettering often give off an um, split smell. Uh, lettering is the form of open caps and cans allow the bacteria to grow and uh, mosquito to breed. So lettering uh, spread disease. Lettering also runs the bacteria of the environment. When lettering um, burn, it can re release uh, harmful gases in the air. Plastic lettering also can uh, ch choke and uh, some uh, animals in the environment. Hello guys, uh, I'm Ghafoor and uh, today we are going to explain about uh, burning fossil fuels, me and my partner Safe. And uh, the fossil fuels are a major source of energy on the earth. Uh, we use uh, fossil fuels as uh, to generate electricity, as fuel in cars and as the raw materials in many uh, industries. Coal, oil and natural uh, gas uh, are the fossil fuels. Uh, burning for uh, what? Uh, but come back, come back. Uh, burning fossil fuels has many harmful effects on the environment, such as global warming, air pollution, and etc. Uh, my partner will explain about global warming and others. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to explain about global warming. Go back there. Global warming. Global warming is an is an aspect of climate change referring to long long term rise of planet's temperature. It's caused by increased increased concentration of greenhouse greenhouse gases. It is mainly from human activities such as burning fossil fuels and warming. <laughs> change it. Air pollution. Air pollution, air pollution is the contamination uh, of air due to the due to the presence of substances in the atmosphere that har that can be harmful for humans and living beings, uh, or cause damage to climate to climate or to materials. There are many different types of air pollutants such as gases, particulates, and biological molecules. <laughs> Acid rain. Wait, let's let it turn now. Acid rain is uh, su harmful substances from the smoke that comes from car and factories. Uh, like harmful substances from smoke that comes from from cars from cars and factories may dissolve in the waterfall from the rain, and this will cause acid rain. Acid rain can kill living things or turn. Our things and Cordex Metal and Stills. Finished. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, today we're going to explain coral leaves and my name is Sajad and yeah. So what is coral leaves? It's a ridge or a shell formed by underwater by hard coral and leaf coral poppies. So yeah. So one fact that coral reefs are called the rainforest of the ocean because many different animals and plants live in it. Next page. So I got some facts about coral leaves. Coral leaves are animals but not plants. Many people thought that coral leaves are plants but they're actually animals. The reason why it's colorful because of the pulpies that grow, because of the algae that grows on it. Second thing is coral leaves are the largest structure on the earth of biological origin. Uh, third thing, there are three main types of coral leaves. There are uh, fringing reefs and barrier reefs and coral at uh, atolls. So there are many types of coral leaves, but those are the three main types of coral leaves that are in common in the ocean. Fourth one, uh, coral leaves are known as rainforest. So as I said, the coral leaves are called uh, are called the rainforest of the ocean of the sea. Sorry, because many animals and uh, plants live in it. And uh, the coral the coral leaves cover less than one percent of the ocean. But this one percent of the coral leaf is is a home of almost twenty five of all known marine species. And uh, my partner Zahra will continue. Hi guys, so today I'll be talking about some threats that uh, can harm coral reefs 
and uh, besides natural events like hurricane and diseases, human activities can damage and harm coral reefs. One of the example is raising the temperature of the ocean. Global wa global warming raises the temperature of the ocean and kills uh, coral uh, kills all day, which is the main food of corals. Uh, coral reefs and the second one is overfishing overfishing poison fishing and blast fishing so so the second example is overfishing poison fishing and blast fishing so as the human pop population grows so does their demand of food um, such as fishes excessive fishing uh, fishing or uh, uncertain marine animals such as bullet fish and Grouper fish can affect the food chain of coral reefs and uh, and upset the balance into the ecosystem. And the method of uh, the, when the method the method of fishing used by some fishermen also damage the uh, coral reefs. Fishermen sometimes use poison to, um, poison or blast uh, blast coral reefs to. Uh, to catch fish and the third reason third example is diving Car uh, coral, coral polyps secret mosses and this uh, the mosses protect the the, co the corals from uh, under what underwater life and when divers and when divers touch corals or or rest on them, they damage the they damage the mosses and destroy the and destroy the color polyps. And the other reason is new inv invasive species. The the lionfish is a nation uh, to the tropical specific in Indian Ocean. Uh, the humans introduced it to the Atlantic Ocean in 1990s and mm, the population of lionfish is growing fast because there is no known predator in the Atlantic Ocean and this population explosion is harmful for the uh, color reefs because uh, lion, uh, lionfish yeah, aggressively eat other kind of fishes. And the last example is pollution. Oil spills, oil spills uh, the, of the industrial waste into the ocean harm coral leaves by killing aquatic life. And water pollution and the war warming of the ocean also promote the growth of harmful algae, which damage the coral leaves. That was the end. Thank you for, for for your attention and my partner will be doing the next part. Greetings, my name is Murtaza and today I'm going to explain about effects of coral reef destruction. Uh, the first uh, thing is global warming. Cor coral reefs help control the, carbon, uh, the amount of carbon dioxide in the ocean. Uh, the second part is damage to coastal areas. Uh, uh, without the protection of strong uh, without the protection of coral reefs, strong storms, uh, co uh, strong currents and waves can damage, can damage, can do major damage to the coastal areas. Uh, the third point is loss of medicine. Many chemicals from plants and animals, uh, uh, and animals in the coral reefs can be used to make medicine. Uh, without the chemicals of the coral reef, uh, we do not have uh, current or future medicine. The fourth point is loss of tourism. Without the uh, without coral reefs, the tourism would uh, decrease in some places, and it would lose a major income. Uh, number five, uh, loss of marine life. Uh, uh, the coral reefs provide habitat feeding and spawning nursing to over a million aquatic species, such as harvested fish. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm going to ask the students some questions. So why coral leaves are called rainforests? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone from the students? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Maybe because they're co colorful? They're, 
one thing in the sea. So, rain, so they are called rainforests, as I say, because animals and plants live in it. So it's a rainforest of the sea. Second question, what are some treats to coral reefs? Ismina? Humans, when we lie on it or when we lie on it or touch it, we damage the coral the coral reef. Yeah, correct. And also uh, storm and erosion can also one of the threats to coral reefs. Uh, name one of the facts that was mentioned earlier. Anyone? As well? Was it blues of tortoises? Yes. No. Good job. <laughs> that was the effect. The fact. Oh. The fact and effect are very different. Himself, he doesn't know the answer. One fact I noticed. Yes. Uh, many animals live in the color. Yeah. Coral. The fact is Me. There are animals, not plants. One fact. One fact, that fact. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. yeah. It was mentioned too. So that's all for our presentation. And I got a little activity for the students. <laughs> Should I do it true and false or no? No. Or it's yeah. wasting yeah, time. Let's do it. Okay. So uh, there are different types of coral reefs. Is it true or false? True. Anyone? Yes. True. 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 Good job. Uh, coral leaves are colorful because of the algae that grow on it. No, false. Yes. Wrong. It's actually true. 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 And uh, uh, what? Uh, coral leaves can grow at any water depth. No. No. False. 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 So, uh, coral leaf can only uh, grow on a certain depth, and that's all. Hope you guys learned something. And <laughs> bye. Bye. Everyone clap for yourself.